POCO X3 Pro Long Term Usage Review Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video let us talk about this POCO X3 Pro and the long term usage review and whether you should buy this at this point of time or not considering that the holidays are coming up and big festivals are coming up so should you plan to buy this device or not now do note that this device was launched in march so it's almost like five months since the device was launched now when i did the review of this device there were a few issues which i had faced and let me recap those so the first issue which i faced was when you're listening to music on high volumes without earplugs the back vibrates if you're not using a case and then the second major issue which i would call is the software the software was like laggy as hell and that was like what how many three or four months back and when you buy a device from a brand you do expect them to fix those minor niggles right i am calling them minor to give them the benefit of doubt but in my humble opinion those are like major issues so fast forward to the latest update which is your miui 12.5 what all has changed has the issue wherein the back vibrates has that been addressed and fixed hell no that issue is still there even with the latest update the back vibrates and either you use a case or you learn to live with it right then the software ui lag oh my god has the software ui lag been fixed hell no once again the software ui lag has not been fixed either at 120 battery around 39 40 percent 45 percent chrome laggy and people will tell me hey manji chrome is like laggy by nature and google feed google feed super laggy google feed is still laggy and this is a device with 120 so you know none of those bugs have been fixed these are bugs which have been on this device ever since it was launched so the expectation that you know they're gonna fix something went down the drain but what additional did you get and i'm already starting to laugh because the additional issues which you get are like super duper deal breakers reports have been coming in of touch issues and the latest report is of ghost touch and this ghost touch on poco x3 pro i am not saying it i'm not saying i have it i'm saying this has been officially acknowledged by poco global here are screenshots links everything is in the description ghost touch issues on the poco x3 pro exist it's a fact whether you have it or not is something different and that might depend on the display panel you have whether you have huaxing or tianma and of course how to find that out again video is linked in the description of this video so the first major issue which has come up with the latest update is ghost touch and other touch issues next up there are reports of proximity sensor not working after 10 or 15 minutes and you have to reboot your device yep that is another issue which has come up with the latest miui 12.5 update for the poco x3 pro and then last but not the least let us like rewind a little bit right so who is the target audience for this poco x3 pro the target audience for this poco x3 pro are the gamers everybody knows the cameras are not good enough snapdragon 860 6 gb ram 8 gb ram targeted at gamers and of course you have youtubers who give it to kids to show off on youtube that pubg plays absolutely fine without any touch issues and any lags those things apart you're buying this device or you're planning to buy this device because you want to play bgmi on it and before you ask me hey manji does this do 90 fps in bgmi hell no you do not get 90 fps in bgmi either so let us like get down to facts now so on paper if you have a look at the benchmark scores the benchmark scores have gone up ever since the device was released the benchmark scores have gone up but what about the real world usage has the real world usage changed hell no i think it's gone from bad to worse so what do i have here i have 
a device which has snapdragon 860 which i am going to buy for gaming and i have a refresh rate of 120 hertz but this device cannot play bgmi in 90 fps despite having a 120 hertz display when you're using it at 120 the ui lags like crazy in scrolling and if you have say a youtube video playing in picture in picture super bad then you have touch issues ghost touch issues proximity sensor issues and that was like some silence because i remember poco india director anuj sharma saying in one of the amas we do not want to create a paper monster well guess what captain obvious that is what this hair is this hair is a paper monster youtubers will sell you shit at 500 rupees a kg or 10 dollars a pound whatever the conversion is but the fact right now at the time of recording this video is that it is very hard to recommend a paper monster to anybody because the gamers are gonna cry about touch issues ghost touch issues no 90 fps in bgmi so what is the use of this device i think the use of this device right now is as good as a paperweight because this is heavy as hell as well so the question comes what should i do my personal opinion save money get something else do not fall for the below 20k paper monster with a snapdragon 860 the most powerful phone because you are gonna regret your decision and then be about touch issues ghost touch issues proximity sensor issues no 90 fps in bgmi all those things zero updates normal ui usage is shit as hell